What's up, Epi Valley Penguins? Today, we're 2015, number six on population decline and remediation. In an attempt to rescue a small, isolated population of snakes from decline, a few male snakes from several larger populations of the same species were introduced to the population in 1992. The snakes reproduce sexually, and there are abundant resources in the environment. The figure below shows the results of a study of snake population both before and after the introduction of the outside males. In the study, the numbers of captured snakes indicate the overall population size. So here we see that that population is declining. We can also see that it comes up and it increases after we see those outside males introduced. We can also see the number of juvenile uh, snake species, and we can see that those are increasing after the males were introduced. So part A asked me to describe one characteristic of the original population that may have led to population decline in size between 1989 and 1993. So the fact that this tells me that this is a small isolated population screams genetic drift to me. There was either a small group of those snakes that got isolated and separated from the rest of the population, which would be our founder's effect, or we had some process, some natural disaster that drastically decreased my population size, which would be bottleneck. So one of those two is what's kind of coming out to me as the process. And so what that does is that can cause um, harmful alleles to become fixed in the population. And so I think that the characteristic that they may have had is a lack of genetic diversity. So there's not a lot of options in that population. So these harmful alleles could become fixed in which they might not be able to um, overcome some of these challenges they might be seeing in their environment. So part A says lack genetic diversity or variation, um, or you could have put it was an age post-reproductive population. Maybe there's not enough young snakes to reproduce to increase that population. We could see that there's an unfavorable sex ratio. Maybe there's too many males or there's a harmful uh, mutation or disease that's in that population. So part A, the student said the overall population could have had limited gene pool because of stabilizing selection, because this caused limited genetic variation in the population. None of the snakes were more fit for changes in the environment. Part B, propose one reason that the introduction of the outside males rescued the snake population from decline. Well, since I'm thinking that it's a lack of genetic diversity, introducing these males is kind of like gene flow. We have the same species, more individuals from that same species coming into our population, and they're bringing new genes in them that can provide um, additional genetic variation. It provides new um, options um, in terms of this uh, reshuffling that happens in every time you sexually reproduce. So uh, one option is increased genetic diversity in the population. Maybe there's an increase of reproductive success. Now it provides more males that's sufficient for that reproduction if there wasn't enough males before. Or it introduced resistance to a disease that may have been affecting that original population. Maybe this new allele can allow them to resist something that was declining the population. So students said males from the outside population caused new genes to enter the population. Because of the increased genetic variation, the snakes were fit to fill niches in the changing environment. Part C, describe how the data support the statement that there is an abundant resource in the environment. Because once they were able to reproduce, we do see an increase in population, so the population is growing. Um, so if those resources were limited, they would not grow, um, but we do see the population can and does grow. And then the student said this population is growing exponentially and has not reached current capacity. Hope that was helpful. Remember, 8 bad pain was just assessed by all.